stranded on this deserted island in the middle of the ocean. And we're gonna be stranded here for the next seven days. And that boat that just left was our only way out of here. Why do we keep doing this? I thought it'd be fun. Despite its beauty, civilization has not been able to survive on this island for over 250 years. But for the next seven days, we're gonna try to. And we only have around four hours until it gets dark. It's hot out here. We need to build a shelter immediately. I mean, why don't we just camp here? This spot looks pretty good. So, I say we kick things off by us going and looking for wood, and you two... We'll prep camp. Yes. Right, have fun with that. Come on, Sean. Come on, Chandler. How do we prep camp? You know, I don't know. And so we immediately got to work, but we had to be careful because above you is the most dangerous tree on earth. It contains poisonous tree sap that could literally kill you. Why are we still standing here? And meanwhile, Nolan and Mac were making a fire pit. I'd say it's a pretty good fire, would you say? Well, it's not a fire yet. Well, I'd say it's a pretty good fireplace. And Sean started constructing the frame for our shelter. Are you sure that's not gonna fall on us? Yep. I feel like Sean's like our survival dad. Been called worse. And while gathering some more materials, we came across some wildlife on the island. Oh, look at these chickens over here. Hey, wait, stop running away. And it wasn't long until I found out why the chickens were afraid of us. Hey, what are we doing over here? Ah. Uh, wait, what is that? Uh, oh, it's a knife. Were yeah. you gonna try to kill one of those chickens? Please let me eat a chicken. We don't kill chickens. Jimmy, what did you eat for dinner before you got here? Don't ask. <laughs> we spent the rest of day one preparing our camp, which was pretty simple. I'm gonna show you guys around the camp. This is the fire and where we're gonna make food. Come over here. And this is where we sleep. That concludes the tour. We pulled over our survival crate, which contains food, water, and most importantly, a flare in case someone gets hurt. And by the time the sun went down, we had everything figured out, except one thing. Wait, hold up. Isn't sunscreen flammable? <laughs> it's the end of day one, and I'm already starting to get a little sunburn. I'm hoping to get some good sleep tonight. And I hope it doesn't rain. Tomorrow, we need to build a bigger shelter. And by we, I mean dad over there is going to build a bigger shelter. I got I you. Got Oh. 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 Jimmy, you're like mom. Sean's dad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go to bed. I'll see you on day two. During the first night of sleep, we tossed and turned a lot. And by we, I mean me. So it was a good thing we were fixing this the next day. The objective for day two is simple. We need to build a bigger and rainproof shelter. We need more comfortable seats because my butt hurts. And we need a better fire pit. My butt also hurts. We're looking for very long, sturdy sticks we can put across the top of our shelter. That way when it rains, instead of it drooping in the leaves and tarp, it flows off the back. And while we were busy gathering resources for our new shelter, Mac and Nolan were busy looking for new seats. Do you see that? Yeah. What's that orange thing? I mean, you can use it as like a bouncy seat. Dude, it's a buoy. Oh, dude, there's a net. We can use the net to catch chickens. No! Oh, oh, a lot of bugs! A lot of bugs! A lot of bugs! Jimmy, we found an ocean buoy. It's like a bouncy seat. Did you steal this? No. Th Did he steal it? It washed up on a beach. I guess that's not stealing. Oh, that is nice. OK, I'll take it. For the rest of the day, Chandler, Sean, and I finished upgrading the shelter. Keep going, keep going. There's still sun in here, but it's because the sun's super low. 90% of the time, this will be shade now. While Mac and Nolan got coconuts. All right, be careful. It's a big knife. Coconut! <laughs> good. And of course, tried to catch chickens. Hey, chickens! Run! Run! Run away! What are you, what are you doing? All right, I saved them. Day two is coming to an end. How would you say it was? I'm tired, but I'm doing good. Nolan? Fantastic. I think we can all agree we are doing way better than we thought we would. But little did I know, later that night, things were about to get a whole lot worse. But for now, if you're wondering why we're in the ocean, look at Chandler. Because it's the only way for us to shower. We need our other water for cooking and, you know, not dying of dehydration. You want to know what I noticed, boys? What's that? We had 10 cartons of water, and now we're down to six. It's day two. I know. I'm going to be the adult here and just say it. Everyone needs to be more responsible with their water consumption. I agree. Wait, what are we agreeing to? Sean, I agreed for you. Uh, okay, perfect. It's also dark. We need to go to bed. In case you didn't piece it together, that guy, Mac, is the guy that lost money in this video and this video. He's basically lost $1.5 million on the channel in the last two months. It's a harsh way to introduce somebody. Even though we upgraded our shelter, the second night of sleep was worse than the first. We didn't know it, but this island was infested with bugs that ended up biting us all throughout the night. And for whatever reason, Chandler and I got the worst of it. I got no sleep last night. 
probably the most miserable thing I've ever done. Look how many bug bites I have on just my hand alone. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. And while we caught up on some much needed sleep, you can probably guess what the boys were gonna do without supervision. Catch chickens. No, let's catch fish. So yesterday, over by uh, that debris on the beach, me and Nolan found a bunch of net. Today, the boys are gonna help me make a chicken trap. The plan is basically to put a giant net right here, tie to a string up there, and then <laughs> catch a chicken. Let's go. Now, if I was awake to stop them, this never would have happened. But given the fact that I felt like I was literally dying in this moment, the boys were officially going rogue. Hey, strong net. Exactly. There we go. Over the next 30 minutes or so, the boys cut the net into a perfect square. They then hoisted the rope up over the tree, tied the rope to all four <laughs> corners, and it was ready. <laughs> that works. That's pretty nice. So after a quick reset and placing some bait, it was time to catch a chicken. What is this? Trap to catch chickens with? Can I see the rope? No, you cannot. Is that what you guys were doing this whole time? Yeah. yeah. I thought you were doing something actually productive. I'll be honest, at first, this seemed like a complete waste of time. Because for the next three hours, they waited and waited. But for some reason, Mac in particular was not ready to give up. And finally, after even more waiting, Oh, this chicken's actually pretty chill. Yeah. This is the new Brian in honor of the bird from Raft. You know what? With how nice you've been, I'm sure once you put Brian down, it will continue to hang out with us. Put it down. Time to put Brian down. Brian, Brian. no, Brian! What'd you do to Brian? I thought he was our friend. Well, I did catch him with a trap, so. And by the time Brian had been caught and freed, it had gotten significantly less hot outside which honestly gave all of us enough energy for a spontaneous adventure. See that island behind me? We're about to go do it, Mac. Let's do it. Now I know what you're thinking. Why swim away from a perfectly good island to a rock in the middle of the ocean? And honestly, I don't have a good answer for you. This feels really counterintuitive. I think this is a testament to just how bored we are. Feels like we're wasting a lot of water and energy. Mac, what are you doing? There are so many fish down there. Really? Yeah. There's a stingray! Look at all those fish! Those waves look really big over there. And they're coming right at us. Oh, oh here comes a big one. We're almost there! <laughs> look at the island over there in the background. And here we are. Woo! Look at this. We got water splashing on both sides. These are extra slippery rocks. Going up now? Oh gosh. Oh, this is crazy. This looks so cool. We did it! I don't know why we did it, but we did! How do we get off this? And then how do we get back to our island? Well, the fastest way off is jumping. I'm not jumping. During our last few hours of sunlight, I felt a couple raindrops. We noticed the storm approaching us on the horizon. When we got on the island, the forecast said it wasn't supposed to rain. There's monster clouds over there. We can depress. Let's go, boys. Come on, guys. Right. 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 Fix the hut. Oh, no. There's rain coming. Protect our stuff. Get as many palm leaves as you can right now. Taylor, more leaves. And once we ran out of daylight, we huddled up under our new and improved shelter and awaited a night of rain. The worst part about this is the unknown. It's so dark, you can't even see how close the rain is anymore. Turns out we got extremely lucky. The storm ended up just missing us by a hair. But what I can say is, later in this video, we won't be so lucky. Dude, it is literally pouring! Let me hold this up! I just want to go home. Good morning, everybody! Good morning. Let me try that again. Good morning, everybody! Good morning. You guys got a case of the Mondays? After four days on the island, our morning routine consisted of the following. First, we'd wake up and complain about how bad we slept. Sleeping last night was rough. And then we'd use the bathroom, sometimes together. I'm nervous peeing at the same time as you guys. And then eat, yet again, a bag meal. We're a little tired of our bag meals, so let's just say we've got a solution. All right, this is as far as I go. Have fun. Oh, God. All this for some fish? You have to go very, very far out to actually find fish. The fish aren't going to be in this light blue water. They're going to be in the dark blue water out there. So... This is either a really good idea or a really bad one. Probably a bad one. The plan was a little dangerous, but simple. Mac is going to act as a human motorboat and drag Sean and Nolan out into the depths of the ocean. And Sean, being the expert survival dad that he is, is going to catch those fish and bring them back to shore for us to eat. You guys got the 
the rope? I also brought around 500 feet of rope that they're tied to. So if at any point they need help, we'll just yank them in. Right, Chandler? Yeah. Is the rope still good? Yeah, you have plenty of rope. Mac, you doing okay? Huh? Is Mac literally just pulling them? We should just untie the rope, Mac. Cause that's some dead weight. Hope you don't regret it. Now we have no rope and we're so far away from the beach. There's no way they're not getting seasick out there. Oh, look at that storm. Is that a storm? Boys, we better hurry. That's rain? That's rain. Something tells me this rope snapped somewhere. <laughs> no. Well, you know what we can do? We can start fishing. I wouldn't start fishing yet. He's in the water. Guys! Your rope came off! You see any fish down there? I don't see anything. None yet. We have the rope! Hey! Oh! You got something? Yeah, yeah. Two hours of fishing and 200 fishes worth of calories burned, all they had to show for it was one fish. Is this fine to eat? Yeah, of course. It literally tastes like fish from a supermarket. I mean, you know where fish from the supermarket come from, right? Where? The ocean. And even though this fish from the ocean was surprisingly good, it was time to eat something a whole lot better. S'mores. 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 First off, you need to burn the bacteria off your stick. Oh, I didn't know that actually. You seem like you've done s'mores before, Jim. Well, as a man who owns a chocolate company. Oh, Mac! Ah, what are you doing? Oh, oh God. Oh. You take the Feastables chocolate, scrunch it like that while it's still hot. Look at that. Make sure to try out our new Feastables bar. People are actually liking it so much, it's sold out in most stores. Don't worry, we're doing our best to restock it as fast as we can. You've never had a s'more in your life until you've had a s'more with Feastables on it. Like clockwork, we lay down to go to bed and it starts raining. Why is it that whenever we do survival videos, it literally only rains when we're trying to sleep? I'd say that was a very successful day four. Yeah, I agree. You caught a chicken, I caught a fish. Here's the three more days of stupidity. Yeah. I just woke up, I have no idea what day it is. Stay up. Five. I was about to say that. <laughs> One of the reasons why we picked this island is there's very old houses or ruins, whatever you want to call it, on this island. And even though they're located on top of a mountain, I say today's the day we explore them. I agree, disagree. Now that we had all agreed to go to the ruins, we wanted to make sure we didn't start this expedition on an empty stomach. And just as we were eating our bag breakfast, Nolan noticed something more appetizing down the beach. Over there on the shoreline. What is it? There's a goat. No way, bro. There's a goat. Mac, you cannot eat that. You can't stop me. No. Uh oh. Run away, go! Jimmy, run away! Go! Get out of here! Yes! Why did you do that? He's our friend. No, he's not. He's food. Oh, uh, once again, Jimmy has scared away my food. And after sparing another animal from Mac, it was time to adventure to the ruins. All right. Let's do it. We're almost out of water, guys. I need some for the adventure. I'm gonna try to fill these up with coconut water while you're gone. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, keep going. I'll be there in one second. And what they don't know is I actually have a surprise waiting for us at the top of the ruins. It'll make sense in a little bit. That was kind of weird. I just stayed back and talked to the camera. Yeah, kind of like how you lost $1.5 million. Oh, yeah. Follow me, gang. Jimmy, I believe in you. For a second, I thought this was the mountain. I forgot we haven't even reached the base of the mountain yet. And while we climb this mountain, I'm gonna tell the boys about Western Union. Wherever you are, Western Union makes it easy to send money to friends and family anywhere in the world. We'll be up here. Yeah, you keep talking about that, Jim. Hey, wait up for me. We're going all the way up there. Western Union also has a free website and app that's simple and secure. So even my grandma can use it? Even your grandma, Mac. <laughs> and before I got here, I used Western Union to pay the boat. <laughs> Dude, you gotta be careful. Here, give me a second, Western Union. I also used Western Union to pay the boat guy that dropped me off on this island. Because they had been around for 100 years, I know my money got to them, even though I was in the US. Look how far away we've come from our beach. Is that, is that a rainbow? Rainbow right there. <gasps> oh yeah. What the heck? That's awesome. I'm not gonna be like a Debbie Downer, but that's rain right there. That giant cloud? That giant cloud with rain Yeah, you're being up. a Debbie Downer. Hey, you can see Sean from here. Dude, he's building the shelter. Sean's making us dinner. Sean! I can see him! Yay! He heard us! Keep going! Wave if you're a nerd! <laughs> oh. oh, he's waving. Is it gonna be dark when we go back on this path? Yeah. How are we gonna see? Oh, we'll figure that out later. That's gonna be unfortunate if somebody falls. Oh! Oh! Are you good? You good? I'm alive. <laughs> see that right over there? Boys! Come on! 
Come over here. Welcome to the ruins. Whoa. This is actually sick, dude. Why is there just a yellow box? Yeah, what is this thing? I'm glad you asked. I paid some guys with Western Union $10,000 to move this box up here. Really? Nolan, there's a crowbar in your backpack. <laughs> What do you think's in here? Pizza? Water. You knew that we were gonna run out of water, so you put extra water in this box. And while we're opening this, there's never been a better time to download or sign up for Western Union. Your first transaction is free. Just go to westernunion.com slash MrBeast. Now I know I could have filled this crate with extra water and food, but instead, I brought something even better. Matt, does this moment remind you of something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this picture of you losing 800 grand? Now here's a picture of you losing 700 grand. Bro, why? Why go You'll see it one second, don't worry. Now, I didn't do this to make fun of Mac for losing $1.5 million. Really? Because that's exactly what it feels like you're doing. I did this to say, and we're going to give you another chance in one final video. No shot. But this is your final shot. You're going to give me a third shot? Your final shot. I got another shot! If you look at the last video we did, every single comment was, bring back Mac, bring back Mac. I hope you win. That's another shot. More important than your shot. <laughs> There's some ruins over here. Let's go look at them. Third shot, baby. I'm not going to let you guys down again. This building is almost a century old. Imagine building this 100 years ago just for a bunch of YouTubers to explore it. <laughs> Whoa, this is wicked. Why is there a cactus up there? Does the cactus just crawl up there or does someone put the cactus up there? The cactus does not crawl up there, Jimmy. It doesn't have legs. Oh my God. Let's check out on the other side of the crate. There's some more ruins over there. This is crazy, dude. Look how the trees like wrap around the Whoa. freaking rocks. Would the gang say this was worth the effort? Because I got a third chance, yes I would. All right, well, he's biased. Would you two say it was worth it? No. There was no pizza in the box, so no. <laughs> By this time, day five sun was setting on the island. And on our way back to camp, we stopped at the peak of the mountain to take it all in. There's no one I'd rather scale the side of a random mountain with than you guys. Thank Aww. you. Maybe Dwayne The Rock Johnson. That's fair. But outside of that, nobody. Boys, I'm gonna be honest, probably gonna remember this forever. Me too. I think this view made the journey worth it. Camp's cleaned up. It's been reinforced from the rain. Coconut water. Meals ready to go. Got a lot more water. It's getting really dark. I mean, you can't even see into the woods right now. I don't know how they're gonna make it back from the top of that mountain to all these woods in the dark. This is way sketchier at night. Ow. Cactus. Ow! You good? Just a thorn on my side. But little did we know, running into a cactus in the middle of the night was actually the least of our worries. We ended up hitting a dead end, which is a little intimidating in the middle of a forest. Hey, which direction is it? Is it this way or that way? Wait, I can see three different things, dude. There's this right here, and then there's this one right here. This is a path, too. Like, are you I sure, bro? This or is that it? It's definitely not to follow me. Guys, I will pick a random direction. Follow Wait, no, no, I, I think it is to the left. Oh, it is? No, it's right, right over here. Ah, oh, it's raining! And we must have been extra lucky that night because on top of being lost, it started raining. Are you sure this is the right one? Maybe it's this way. Which way are we going? I told you we should plow. Wait, Chandler. Follow me. Chandler, how sure are you? I'm 10% sure it's this so way. So wouldn't 90% be better? Are you 90%? Can we choose? It's pouring on the side of a mountain. Go! It's raining! Okay, Wait, why don't we way. choose and then unchoose? I don't care. Oh, boys, this is bad. It is getting slick! I really don't think we came up something this steep. <laughs> oh, I almost face planted. And if we couldn't be any more unlucky, on top of it raining while we're lost, we've even got a third thing to worry about. Above you is the most dangerous tree on Earth. If it rains, it will seep poison that will burn your skin. Watch out for the death apple sap because it just rained. What are we supposed to do? Not let the poison drip on you. Oh, oh that is 10,000% of death apple tree, boys. That means we're close. And regardless of if we took the right path or not, we could tell we were getting close to camp. That's sand. That's oh. some sand. Thank God. We made it. <laughs> camp is right there. We have a rare opportunity to scare Sean. Are we going to take advantage of that? Yes, of course. Okay. Oh my God, you scared me. We made it. Yeah, we're back. I made you guys dinner in coconut water. Oh, I appreciate it. <laughs> Cheers, boys. Wow, tastes like a coconut. <laughs> After the hike, we ate, we showered, and when we dried off, we took a second to look up at the stars. Because when you're in the middle of the ocean, it really feels like you're on another planet. But unexpectedly, Around the corner was something we'd been fearing this entire challenge. You feel that? Guys, bad news. 
There's a ton of water on the top of our shelter. I just don't know if that's going to be safe for us to be under it. Despite our efforts from earlier to make the shelter better, water was beginning to pull up on our roof from the storm. All this water on top of us. Is there a world that could bring our structure down? And even though all we wanted at this point was a night of sleep, we had to get up and deal with it. Uh, oh my god! We are absolutely screwed. I'm just getting destroyed and pummeled by rain all night. And after two hours of rain, a damaged shelter and soaking wet beds. There was no chance any of us were going to sleep that night. It's raining on you at night. The worst experience you can have on these shelters. I'm so tired. Hopefully it just passes over. And even though this was an all-time low, our only option was to wait this thing out. I'm not going to lie, the rain last night was pretty brutal. I don't know if I've ever been that cold. Uh, ever. What do you want to do today, Nolan? I don't know. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. I just can't wait to get out of here. This place sucks a lot, I'm not gonna lie. I'm sick and I'm, I'm tired and I wanna go home. At this point, the island was making us miserable. This is quickly turning into a little bit of a nightmare. And after six days of physical struggle, our mental health was beginning to suffer as well. There's only so much bagged food you can drink and hours you can lay in the sun before you start to just feel terrible. And I'm starting to feel terrible. I have a headache. I am very tired. It was clear that we were going to have to take drastic measures if we were going to complete this challenge. Looking for a peach cobbler. Want to look for a peach cobbler? Oh, I found one. So, in an effort to turn things around, we treated ourselves to canned cobbler for breakfast. Pretty good. Not bad. Yeah. For a can. And with the help of this unorthodox breakfast, can that happen? we were beginning to return back to normal. Go ahead. <laughs> Straight to the tree. And it became clear how exactly we were going to survive day six yeah. by having fun with each other. <laughs> it's awesome. And I began to realize, oh. <laughs> even though we've all done a lot of suffering, why'd we pick the heaviest seat in existence? This whole trip has been filled with a lot of fun, <laughs> cheers, boys, and adventure. We did it! <laughs> Moments like these are hard to find. And when I look back on this challenge, we probably won't remember the bad times as much as we will the good. It's kind of cool. And with day six of our challenge finally coming to an end, we're celebrating our final night with a massive fire. But it's kind of burning us all. Yeah, I'm getting that. It's a little too big. When we wake up tomorrow, the challenge will be over. And as the sun rose on day seven, go, get me out of here. We broke down camp and cleaned up with one thing in mind leaving this place and never coming back. And before we leave, I just want to take the time to say thank you all for watching. All of you are the only reason videos like this exist, and I really hope you all enjoyed it.